the terms 360 video and VR video get often confused even though they are not the same. And in this video we're gonna find answer to the question what the difference is and whether a pirate with an eye patch can really watch VR video. And with that, welcome to the 360 video series in DaVinci Resolve, where I show you how to post-process 360 video and VR videos. And the playlist I linked up there, so don't miss out on the videos, especially on the audio side, because this is where it gets immersive. And now for the difference between 360 and VR video, it's comparable to mono and stereo audio. And for somebody who is watching a VR video on a display, it doesn't make any difference if it's 360 and VR. But let me first clarify what those both types of videos are. A 360 video is a video captured by a camera that looks 360 degrees around itself. So it has a spherical point of view and this is flattened into one image. And this is often achieved today by having two cameras on either side and combining those two lenses into one image. And this is the difference between 360 video and VR because this is just one point of view and for VR you need two points of view because this is how your brain perceives depth in space by seeing the difference between the right eye and the left eye. And so for VR you need two videos captured eye distance apart. And this unfortunately means our pirate can also not perceive VR videos if he's wearing his eye patch because he just has one eye to see it. And VR is perceived by having two eyes. But that's not the problem for most people anyways because they watching it on one screen, so on one display and one eye only. And this is comparable to listening to music on your smartphone speaker, which is mono anyway. And it would always be better to listen to stereo music on headphones. And the same thing goes for VR. So 360 degree videos are just a mono mix down from a VR video. But let's have a look on how the timeline in DaVinci Resolve or any editor has to look for a 360 video or VR video. For a normal 360 video you have an aspect ratio of 2 to 1 so it means it's twice the width of the height. And in DaVinci it's usually 4K in 2K or 8K and 4K and if you have the free version you can do a 4K 2K mix down as well. But if you have the studio version you can always pump out as much resolution as you want. So I highly highly recommend you to get the studio version especially if you want to create VR videos. And for VR videos you have to divide in 360 degree VR and 180 degree VR videos. So you would basically use a one by one aspect ratio for each camera in VR 180 and put them on top of each other. So you have a vertical video, which is twice the height and once the width. And for a full 360 degree VR video, you would end up putting two panoramic videos on top of each other, ending up with a giant one by one aspect ratio video with a ginormous resolution. And you see this big resolution is the main downside of processing VR video because it's very system intensive, but you get the 3D effect from having two eyes and watching it. And you automatically shoot a 360 video alongside with it. So you can use it anyway, but it is very system intensive. And for the full 3D or VR feel, you need the end consumer. So the one who's watching to have a headset. And on the other side, the 360 camera is very easy to be processed and it can be viewed on any smartphone just by swiping around and stuff like this. So it is easily accessible and not that much intensive on your system. But of course you lose the 3D feel of the VR video. On the other side, most of the people watching the stuff on their phone swiping around thinking this is VR anyway. And now that you know the difference between 360 and VR, 
Let's get into how to process this in DaVinci Resolve with this video right here. 